and speak to be aware of that. Welcome to the 150th celebration of the Hawkins Literary Institute. Yeah! yeah. Uh, we would like to start out by welcoming some guests that we have uh, from the national side of things. Um, if you could just maybe stand up or, or give us a, a little wave, Brother Bill Farkas, CEO of Lambda Chi Alpha. Bill? Brother Josh Lodolo, CEO of Lambda Chi Alpha Educational Foundation. And Brother uh, Fletcher McElreath, Grand High Alpha of Lambda Chi Alpha. Thank you guys very much for joining us. We're very honored. Uh, we're going to start out with a message from the current High Alpha of Kappa Mu. Rob Estes, class of 2018, KM 1502. <laughs> 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 Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 150th anniversary of the Hawkins Literary Institute at Colbert Stocking College. We're thrilled to have all of our alumni and distinguished guests here with us to celebrate this monumental achievement in our chapter's history. It's been a great weekend getting to meet all of you and share some unique stories that no one else in the world can relate to. To start off, I want to say a special thanks, a special thanks to the people that made this event possible. First, to the alums Steve Pyle and Pete Collier for taking the lead. <laughs> Thank you to them for taking the lead on the organization this beautiful gala event. Also to our faculty advisor, Dr. Kim Gaither, our high Pi Aaron Fiesler, and members from the college alumni office that worked together to put the pieces in place for this weekend. Oh yeah! And finally, to High Beta Clark Stacker and his homecoming committee for taking care of things on behalf of the active members of the chapter. None of this would be possible without your contributions over the past year. So a few weeks back, during our second all-chapter meeting of the semester, the active members of the Hawk House took time to reflect on what it meant to be a member of Lambda Chi Alpha. One major theme really stood, above the, stood out above the rest, perception. When you sign a bid card to join this house, everything about you instantly changes. Your individual name loses its luster because you're no longer John Pierce from St. Louis or Jimmy Morris from Leeds, England. From then on, you're forever known as that Lambda Chi Joey or that Lambda Harry. <laughs> Holding this title is a huge responsibility and something that you're expected to uphold. Being a member of Lambda Chi Alpha means that you have to hold yourself to a higher standard than the average man. On top of that, everyone that knows you're a Lambda Chi expects you to hold yourself to that higher standard. Otherwise, they take notice pretty quickly. We take pride in these expectations, and we thrive under this sort of pressure from the outsiders. Everyone in this room knows what it takes to wear our letters, and it's our duty to always protect that meaning, whether we're on the field, in the classroom, or heading home for Christmas break. Perception is everything to us. I received a bid at the beginning of my sophomore year and didn't know what I was going to do. I was still on the fence about joining, but all of my friends did, so I went with the crowd. The weirdest part of it all was that the guy that they sent to give me my bid card. I probably had 20 friends in the house at the time who should have handed it to me over this guy, but it all worked out in the end. It was Evan Leak, my predecessor, the goofy, washed up basketball player that I had barely spoken to. <laughs> Today, I can call him one of my best friends and the only person capable of mentoring me to be the next high offer. I wouldn't have been able to take this journey without him. As for the whole being on the fence thing, the guys in my class are some of my best friends and help me make the best decision of my life. Stories like this are common in our chapter. There aren't any cliques, 
There's no real drama, and conflict is pretty rare. It's all about good times and enjoying our final days before we take the real world by storm. Thanks again for coming, and let's make tonight one to remember, everybody. I don't get to brag too often, but just so you guys know, Rob Estes took my fundamentals of speech class. <laughs> <laughs> so you're all welcome. <laughs> and I won't share what you told me after the speech. Uh, but thank you very much, Rob. We are honored tonight to have as one of our guests the president of Culver Stockton College, Dr. Kelly Thompson. If you haven't uh, had the time to converse with her, please do so. She's a great person. Everyone should have that time. Uh, she's very approachable, and she's definitely been a true fan of the college and the Greek system. Ladies and gentlemen, President Thompson. Lambda Chi Alpha. Thank you so much for the invitation to join you on this historic evening, your 150th anniversary celebration. It's so wonderful to see so many of you here this evening. I have the great privilege of serving as the 26th president of Culver Stockton College, and over the past few years, I've become acquainted with many Lambda Chi Alpha alumni and the young men who live in Gerlach Hall. Indeed, you are quite accomplished individually. Prominent businessmen, teachers, mentors, doctors, lawyers, entrepreneurs, civil servants, military personnel, and the list goes on and on. And quite impressive collectively. I feel privileged to know and work with the Hawks. I know it's dangerous to single out any individual at an event like this, but I decided that these gentlemen that I've come to know represent what's best about Lambda Chi Alpha. I'll begin with Joe Charles, 60. Trustee Emeritus. Joe was also inducted into the Order of the Founders in 2013. This is the most prestigious honor bestowed by Culver Stockton College. Bob Ayers, 53, Trustee Emeritus. Don Ganuzzi, 56, Trustee Emeritus and former Chairman of the Board of Trustees. Jeff Stearman, 82, Trustee Emeritus. Joe McDonnell, 63, former trustee. H.B. Turner, 79, treasurer of the Culver Stockton College Board of Trustees. And Dick Valentine, my present predecessor, 70, <coughs> President Emeritus. And I would be remiss. <laughs> Zelinsky, 99, also member of the Culver Stockton College Board of Trustees. Where's Nate? Woo! Woo! All right. Yeah. Yeah. And last evening, your very own Sam Pullian, 86, received the Alumni Leadership and Service Award, and Tyler Tomlinson, our host this evening, 03, received the Outstanding Young Alumnus Award. many more Hawks in this room tonight that have served either on the alumni board or given their time or talents or their treasures and volunteered their service to CSC. I know we are a stronger college because of you. Many thanks to all of you for sharing your time and talents and treasures 
with your chapter and with Culver Stockton College. Our momentum continues because of you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Thompson. We, once again, we are very honored to have you with us here tonight. Uh, I know this brother needs no introduction, but just in case, Jeff Stearman has been a brother since 1979 when he went through ritual. After graduation in 1982, he has been one of the most supportive alumni, serving locally with the Housing Corps Alumni Association and conducting programs with the brothers through the years in leadership skills and ritual. He is currently on the Grand High Zeta as the Grand High Pi and one of two Kappa Mu voices at National. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Stearman. Good evening, brothers. Thank you very, very much. And guests, it's a delightful evening. And uh, President Thompson, thank you very, very much for being here this evening. Thank you so much for your leadership of the college. Um, Chairman Leftwich, uh, we couldn't do it without your leadership of the board. Uh, thank you both for being here, and thanks for all that you do. Uh, for the college. So let's, would you please join me? In I have the distinct privilege of, of introducing a, a really solid, good friend of mine um, and a tremendous leader in his own right. But before I do that, I'm going to take two moments of personal privilege, if I may. And um, Rob, if I could ask you to join me up here, if you don't mind. <laughs> At least we're going to need a picture. Thank you. Rob, why don't you stay there? I, uh, this is a really tremendous uh, opportunity and honor for me to present this. In my hands, I'm going to read it to you in just a minute, uh, but it's uh, from the Office of Governor, State of the Missouri, and it's a proclamation uh, signed by Governor Eric Brighton. He, he writes, Whereas on October 11th, 1867, 46 young men presented a petition to Madison C. Hawkins, president of the Board of Trustees of Christian University in Canton, Missouri, requesting permission to establish a permanent literary society on campus. And whereas Hawkins Literary Institute was established and stood then and stands now for progress, and whereas the legacy of Hawkins Literary Institute strives to maintain a true society where students may exercise and develop their faculties regardless of their future aspirations. And whereas the star and crescent was its emblem representing light and progress, and just as the moon enlarges to its fullness, glory and splendor, members in their struggle for education shall enlarge their vision of humanity in its need until the whole world becomes their field of service. And whereas, in the spirit of continual progress, Hawkins Literary Institute changed its name to Alpha Delta Theta and later moved into its first fraternity house in 1924. And whereas, on May 22, 1926, Alpha Delta Theta became the Missouri Gamma chapter of Theta Kappa Nu. And whereas, in 1939, Theta Kappa Nu merged with Lambda Chi Alpha, and whereas today, the Kappa Mu Zeta of Lambda Chi Alpha remains committed to everlasting growth, service, and the professional and professional development of men. Now therefore, I, Eric R. Greitens, Governor of the State of Missouri, do hereby commend and recognize the Kappa Mu Zeta of Lambda Chi Alpha on the 150th anniversary of the chapter's original founding as the Hawkins Literary Institute in testimony whereof, I have hereunto fixed my hand and caused to be affixed the great seal of the state of Missouri in Jefferson City on this 22nd day of September 
one more personal uh, point of personal privilege, please. Yeah. Brother Steve Kyle. <laughs> picture for this one too, Lisa. Bear with me one moment, please. The uh, whereas, we're going to hear a lot of whereas. <laughs> whereas, is, Brother Steve Pyle was initiated into the Brotherhood of Lambda Chi Alpha through the Kappa Mu Zeta of Culver Stockton College. And whereas, while a collegiate member of Kappa Mu Zeta, he served his brothers in the areas of fraternity, education, and ritual, exemplification, among others. And whereas, upon graduation from Culver Stockton College, he developed an expertise in photography and excelled in his career. And whereas his loyalty to Lambda Chi Alpha, his brothers and our values has been demonstrated by the generous sharing of his passion for our brotherhood, his creative and artistic talent, and by serving as the glue that links generations of brothers together. And whereas he models duty in the countless hours that he has dedicated to the betterment of Captain Museta, and stepping up when there is a need or a challenge, and whereas his respect for the principles and traditions of Lambda Chi Alpha are manifest by the relationships he develops, nurtures, and maintains, whereas Brother Steve Pyle has dedicated years of service and stewardship to building a lasting legacy for Captain Museta through his continual work on Gerlach Hall, which provides a healthy learning environment for collegiate brothers, his dedication to preserving the chapter's unique history and heritage and his production and editing of the Kappa Muse to keep relationships between brothers alive and vibrant. And whereas he honors the brothers and oaths of Lambda Chi Alpha through his ongoing service, dedication, and aspirations for Kappa Mu Zeta, and whereas countless brothers and colleagues attest to his personal integrity, and whereas he leads with personal courage to hold the members, <coughs> officers, and alumni of Kappa Mu Zeta accountable for upholding the principles, traditions, and ideals of Lambda Chi Alpha. Therefore, be it resolved that Lambda Chi Alpha recognizes the significant contributions that Brother Steve Pyle has made to our brotherhood. And be it resolved that Lambda Chi Alpha seeks to recognize Brother Steve Pyle for those contributions and the example that he sets for all brothers. And therefore, be it resolved that as a token of sincere appreciation, the brothers of Lambda Chi Alpha present Brother Steve Powell, Kappa Mu 632, with this distinguished service award for his lifetime of dedication to our brother. Exemplary leadership. 
And there's all kinds of leadership styles that everyone has. But one thing that is true about all leaders is they're typically very, very generous with their time. Uh, they're encouraging of everyone's gifts and talents. Uh, they yet hold people accountable to keep things moving. Um, and we are fortunate at Lambda Chi Alpha to have a, a grand Chi Alpha that does that. Um, he is quietly generous with his time and his philanthropy. Um, and having served as on staff, uh, he knows the fraternity inside and out. Um, and he's just a tremendous leader. We are fortunate to have with us from New York City, um, who can tell you how he got here on a little Cessna. Um, that's another story. Uh, but uh, Fletcher, we are just absolutely elated that you're here this evening. Thank you for being here. And uh, brothers and guests, please join me in welcoming Brother Grant High Alpha Fletcher McElroy. CEO Bill Farkas, uh, we are very confident that you are in fact the oldest we've got. Yeah. And it goes one step further because you are in fact the oldest continuous chapter we've got. Never yeah. have. So despite the travails of getting here for a New Yorker, you know, having a nice woman at, at Cape Air ask me how much I weighed was oh, oh, scary, scary. Uh, because I realized then that I was in a plane that was not my usual type of travel, <laughs> <laughs> which I also found out as we pumped around the air coming across the cornfields to Quincy. But, you know, a Very happy to be here. Whoa. Whoa. Is that better? Is that better? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Good. So, for 150 years, the Catholic of Zeta of Lambda Chi Alpha, Culver Stockton, has been dedicated to upholding the values and traditions of our great fraternity. And, and that, for that gentleman, I commend you. Led by Dr. Madison C. Hawkins in 19, excuse me, 1867, just put over that glasses, like-minded men of values came together in a spirit of brotherhood. These young men showed a dedication, a willingness to step out of their comfort zone and a readiness to stand up for what they believed in. The purpose of the Hawkins Literary Institute was to, and I quote, share knowledge through our programs of learning parliamentary procedure and cultivating literary and forensic skill and establish a better way of life, both educationally and morally, close quote. As evidenced by the brothers here tonight, you have done that. As we honor the men who we come before us today, we also look to the future with renewed faith, hope, and love for our fraternity. As the representatives, as a representative of the Grand High Zeta, along with Jeff, I'm here to tell you that not only is Kappa Mu Zeta very solid, but also is the general fraternity. We currently have 198 chapters across North America, because you always have to include Canada, don't forget that. Um, and we have nearly one, excuse me, 11,000 collegiate undergraduates. In the history of Lambda Chi Alpha, we have initiated 300,000 men into the fraternity. Today, we are the fastest growing fraternity in North America. We currently have four new expansions for new chapters at Texas State San Marcos, the University of Nevada at Reno, 
Christopher Newport University, and Northern Michigan University, which will allow our brothership to continue to grow. We also have got a national partnership with Feeding America. Last year, our chapters raised over five million pounds of food for Americans that we hope next year to be six million pounds. As you know, maintaining a strong foundation is very challenging. To that end, the general fraternity, the Grand High State and I, challenge you to continue to grow. Our Crescent teaches such. The unity you show now can provide you with great strength. Hold each other accountable to what our initiation ritual teaches. You've come this far as a chapter, and you've showed us what type of man you can be. Do not squander that gift. As you go off to accomplish even greater achievements, remember this. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. I congratulate you 150 years. We are very, very proud to be here and to celebrate with you. Thank you. without actually going to school with someone. Uh, so I, I feel like I attended Culver Stockton uh, with Nate Zielinski. I did not. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, you know, he made an impact on me. He showed me how to be a good soccer hooligan. Uh, he's very good at that, by the way. You, you young kids could learn some chants from him. He's pretty, pretty good. So uh, without further ado, Nate Zielinski, ladies and gentlemen. proper, how you say that, but heretofore is much better than where it is. This is awesome. I've had the greatest day ever today. I got to wake up this morning in Quincy, Illinois, which is where you want to wake up every day, I understand. <laughs> and I got to have coffee with a friend of mine, a brother of mine I hadn't seen in like 15 years. Jeff Whiteback was there, we had coffee, we caught up on life. That happened because of this house. I then went to a cemetery in Canton, Missouri, because that's what people do at 
Saturday mornings at like 10 a.m. they go to cemeteries. And, and I met another group of brothers to stand around the grave of Madison T. Hawkins and have an experience. And I did that because of this house. Then I went to a football game. Do we win? We don't. At least I asked, right? I mean, some years I haven't been asked. This year I asked. It was close. And I, I love talking. There's so many great people that I get to meet and I get to, I get to hear their stories. And, you know, but the moment that really surprised me that I loved was during halftime. We do that picture. And some years we do that picture and we stand on the stairs and there's like 38 of us and we're all excited. We're high five and woo! The people just kept coming today, didn't they? They just kept coming. And you're all here right now, aren't you? That's awesome. And it's all because of this house. We all have moments. We all have experiences. And so now that we got you a little liquored up, we got the emotions running high. I'm going to tell you about the scholarship fund we, we want us to have. <laughs> Come on, you all know the drill. <laughs> we are the best. Did I mention how handsome and intelligent and beautiful you all look tonight? <laughs> Every year you get calls from the brothers. And they call you on that telephone. You wait for that call. You love that call. You like to mess with those boys. You get your 50 or 75 dollars, give them a hard time. You love that, don't you? And it's great. We are the best at telephone. God bless Bill Drews and all he did to get that thing established. We keep it running, right? And that's great. We give to the bricks and the mortars of that house, and that house is strong. But it's time to give to the bodies and the souls of that house. What we can do tonight, what we can do as a group. We can allow the future brothers of this house to have a continued tradition of success. Not 150 years in the past. I love looking to the past. It's a great history. But I also like to look to the future. And this place has a bright future. Kelly, it's not going anywhere, right? We're going to be around for a while, another 150 years? No. All right. We need to do that. I don't know if many of you know. Most of you do because you probably have kids who are in college. Or your grandkids are in college. Or you're saving for college. It's expensive. Pete, 1967, how much was college? Five dollars. Five dollars. <laughs> college was five dollars in 1967. <laughs> now, I had Mr. Kitty as my economist professor and um, I'm not sure these numbers, I, I think I learned a lot, but inflation's bigger than that. I think it costs a little more than that to go to school today, right? And these kids make a sacrifice, not just today, but the future, to be able to afford to come to a great institution and get the experiences we had. And unfortunately, that extra money that's needed to go on, to go out to nationals, to bring in world-class programming, to really develop and have the opportunity to be leaders, not only in the house, but outside of that house, and to grow up to be each and every one of you in this room, it costs money. And so we want to do tonight, we want to set up a scholarship fund. Jeff Stearman's idea, of course. I said, Jeff, great idea. I bet this room we can get a couple thousand dollars out of these guys. And Jeff gave me that look like, Nate, we need a little more than that. And we do. And we set a huge goal. We want to raise $150,000. Tonight. <laughs> and I'm not leaving until we do <laughs> Yeah, Sam, can you help me out? This might be a good Sam call. <laughs> this is important. And whether it's tonight, this will not go away. We are going to establish a scholarship fund, and we will make these funds available in an annual year to all the brothers in the house so they can have the money to go to national. So they can have the money to bring speakers into the house to teach them about leadership and development. So they can have the opportunity and live the experiential learning that's in the core DNA of Clover Stockton. And we want to do that tonight. So we're going to guilt you up. Whether you give or not, I don't care. I care. So we're going to guilt you into it, and we're going to try to do a panel race. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start at a high number. I told you all good looking, right? Pretty? Good looking? 
And we got some actives that are going to help us, right? We got some pledge cards. And we're going to start a big number. When you, feel the, the, when you feel the need to give, when it burns inside you and that hand wants to raise your raise your program, use your hand, these, these actives are going to come and they're going to collect some information from you. And what we're looking for is five-year pledges. Not tonight. We've got to give anything tonight. Smile and handshake. We're looking for five-year pledges. Tax-deductible pledges that will help sustain the tradition of success that is Captain Musaida at Culverstock College. We'll see what happens. All right, let's start bidding. Who? Twenty-five thousand. Do I hear anyone that's willing to give twenty-five thousand over five years? I got one. Now you may not think $100 gives to it. 
But the majority of the gifts we receive as a college are under that threshold, and that's the ones that really brings up that participation rate, which are very important. And it makes you feel warm inside about being able to give to a cause, to feel part of this, to understand that you are a part of this future. And it's not about just showing up tonight and doing this here. It's about understanding that you are going to be important for the rest of the 150 years we have. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars? Got one. Two. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Fifty dollars in the bank. I feel like an auctioneer is good. Fifty dollars. You want fifty dollars? Thank you, guys. If my accounting is right, we either made it or we didn't. <laughs> but either way, we've made a very big impact. And this is very important. And I appreciate all of you for coming. Your time, your talent, your treasure, your testimonies. Never stop giving. And whether you give tonight, you give tomorrow, you give in the future, make this place be important to you and never forget what it's done to you to your family and to your friends. And make sure that you find a way to give back. Because that is how institutions like Culver Stockton and small chapters like Captain Museda survive. It's with the passion you bring that you're still here tonight, all these years later. It's with the energy you feel tonight when you leave here. It's with that excitement that I want you guys to feel as you leave and exit these doors and head out to the uh, place with the carps out there, whatever those things are. Feel that? Don't forget it because I'm not going to be here in the next 150. Some of you may, I'm not. So thank you all tonight for all you do, all you've done, and all you will do for this chapter, this house, and this college. Thank you. I tried to tell Nate that I teach communication, so this whole math stuff wasn't going well for me either. Uh, but I would like to reintroduce our favorite guy, Rob Estes. He's going to come up. He has a special award presentation to make, Rob. moments or events we can look back on tonight that explain why this chapter has stood for 150 years. The biggest of them all, however, is the amazing support we received from our awful night, obviously demonstrated here in the past couple minutes. And on behalf of the active members of Captain Museta, we would like to recognize a very special individual that has consistently reflected our Lambda Chi Alpha core values decades after his graduation. He has been instrumental in the maintenance of our home since we moved up, from, up to the hill from 606. His leadership in these projects and the sense of duty that he still has to this chapter after countless years of selfless service is an example that all of our members can model themselves after. He has supported active brothers by sending them to several leadership seminars over the years, including the General Assembly, STED, and other various seminars. He has also taken the lead on major renovation projects at Girdlock Hall, such as the new carpeting and the renovated bathrooms, and the upgraded features in our chapter room and parlor. Over the years, he has served on the foundation board and the Culver Stockton College Board of Trustees and received the Order of Achievement in 2005. But in the eyes of our chapter, the greatest of all of his accomplishments is his status as a Hawk House alum. In order to properly honor alumni that go above and beyond, the executive committee of Captain Museta created a new award to be issued from the active members to an alumni or other special recipient. It is my greatest honor to present Brother Joe Charles with the first ever Captain Museta Lifetime Achievement Award. Joe, you can love you.
<coughs> now we're going to work on the addition up in the attic. <laughs> we're going to build eight rooms on top of the Lambda Chi House. Nice. Jeff Gannon here. <laughs> Tell them what we're going to do, Jeff. We're going to build eight rooms on the attic. <laughs> <laughs> Come again! Joe, obviously a well-deserved award, and may I say thank you from all of us for all my time. Thank you very much, Joe. Uh, just a reminder as well, we do have sign-up sheets for our silent auction, so if you could, if you have time after this, uh, come by and, and put a bid up here. I didn't get to announce that earlier, so please make sure uh, that you do that. Uh, before I have Don Ganuzzi come up here, there are some other special guests with us um, that we do need to recognize. Uh, I will ask, are there any uh, official Crescent girls? that are here tonight. There's one right here. Was anyone else an official group? Two, three. All right, let's give these ladies a floor.
Yes, clear your throats. I was, uh... I know. Yeah, also, if the press and girls that are here after this as well could come over here for a picture, we would like that as well. But, uh, Steve asked me to kind of start us off uh, singing. Uh, and I looked at him and I said, Steve, I don't know the song you want me to start off with. Uh, but I know Lance Tomlinson probably does, so I'll bring him up to get you rolling on the song. He's got better pipes than me anyway. I tell you, you, know, you always learn something from the younger generation. Jeff Sturman taught me something tonight how to take a thing called personal privilege. So I'm going to take personal privilege because my dad always said, don't miss the opportunity when you get it. Whenever you're out, and I don't know how many of you have ever tried this, but I've been in a Cardinal game. I've been in a Ram game. Cardinals, that was a team that was used to be good. Um, and, and a Ram game. And I've actually stood up in that game in the middle of the crowd and said, Culver Stockton College. And you know what's amazing? Somebody in the audience always stands and says the same thing back. But what's even more impressive when I'm talking to people and, I, and we, we're, we're conversing back and forth and where we went to school and I say to them, what were you when you were in college? And they say, I was a T. I was an F. But when they look at us, what do we say? I am a Lambda Chi. And remember that. You are a Lambda Chi for life. This only happens once in a lifetime. It was a hell of a lifetime for 150 years, if you think about it. But Fletcher, I'm sorry, buddy, but we've been trying to tell you for years we are the oldest and the best fraternity <laughs> in the United States. Before we sing these, I know you're not wearing your pipes. You notice that when you came in tonight, you didn't have to pay fifteen. No, I'm sorry, Nate. Didn't have to pay fifteen dollars or twenty dollars for your meal. It was paid for. It was paid for by a golf outing that started 13 years ago. 18 years ago. <laughs> I started. What are you coming up with 18? Okay. Those of you who don't golf can come and ride on golf carts and still pay the $50 that the rest of us pay. But that's where the profit is coming from. And we have changed the name of the account from the Hawks Classic. It's now the Greyhawk Classic. And you are Greyhawks, believe it or not. All right. And one of the songs we're going to sing at the end has lots of verses that come out. At keggers, at fires. There's one about coyotes. There's one about alpha Z's. There's one about cold roast duck. And you guys all know what I'm saying. We're not singing those verses. You can sing them to your spouse or whatever later on. But. So, you guys want to... I know you're all up here. Spread your butts out here. Go out more. Go out that way. More, 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 We're the Hawks from Camp Below, and we don't give a damn. Come on, I found the school to break the rules and walk on each exam. The hell, the hell with chapel, the hell, the hell with school. And if you're not a land to cry, the hell, the hell with you. Oh, I think we ought to have a drink. Hey, I think. Good hey. We ought to have a drink. Hey. We ought to have a dream. 
and the cash bar is open, there is a large jar by the front door. And I know Nate took most of your money, but if you've got cash in your pocket, you can put it in that little jar over there to help us pay, pay for tonight. Okay? Thank you for coming. We'll see you in... Thank you for coming. We will see you again in 2167. <laughs>